716. Michelle tracking some snow for later today. Not a big deal. No need to panic. Definitely not. Get the bread and milk only if you're hungry and you're craving it. It's not <laughs> like you're going to be stuck in your house for days. <laughs> no, far from that. In fact, uh, any impacts looking very minor as the roadways Good. stay mostly wet, Patrick, and any accumulation on the grass really doesn't amount to much. I think more than anything, you probably have a lot of disappointed kids in southern New England that are maybe hoping for a little bit more uh, in the way of wintry weather. Our Narragansett camera right now, just cloudy and dry. Roadways are fine for this morning's commute. And even this evening's commute, you may see uh, some rain and snow showers falling, but Again, roads just staying wet. New Bedford, you're looking good this morning as well. A little glimmer of light on the horizon, but lots of clouds already in place today, and those are sticking around. We did keep our threat tracker in the green for the daytime hours today as we just have some light rain and snow showers developing by the afternoon. It's this evening and tonight where the temperatures start to drop, night falls, we see some minor accumulation. One thing we're going to be watching for is secondary roads in northwest Rhode Island. Temperatures are going to be a little cooler up there, so you may see a few slippery spots developing All right now nothing to worry about for this morning's commute ground clutter around the radar site but we do have some scattered light snow showers are racing across uh, western Massachusetts this morning those are going to all stay to the north of us we will start to see some rain and snow showers developing at least some sprinkles and some flurries by around the midday hours as this wave of low pressure lifts up to the north and east and passes well south of us oh we get a kind of a a glancing blow from that relatively weak system. So 30 to 35 degrees, the current temperature out the door. Winds are light. They stay that way all day out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So our forecast highs for today up into the lower 40s. And it's in the afternoon that we see some light, both rain and snow showers, mostly rain near the coastline, a little bit more of that wintry mix further inland. So this is through 8 o'clock this morning, low to mid 30s expected at that point. Here's noon today. You can see a little bit of light precipitation near the coastline, scattered rain and snow showers by uh, school dismissal time, 3 o'clock this afternoon. During the evening commute, a chance for some rain and snow showers. This is showing a little bit of a lull. It's after 7 o'clock this evening that I do think we have our better shot at seeing those small accumulations as this little band of snow wraps around and moves through the area before tapering off after midnight. Skies clear and the temperatures cool to the upper 20s to lower 30s by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So again, it's all minor. Snow with a coating to an inch. Best shot at an inch of snow is north of Providence, where again, the temperatures are a little bit cooler along the coastline, little to no accumulation expected. And our seven day forecast, another cool day tomorrow. High temperatures in the lower 40s with sunshine in the morning and then some increasing clouds in the afternoon. For Friday, mostly cloudy skies, passing shower. Friday night, we have a few showers that come through and the chance for a couple of showers on Saturday. Biggest impact here will be as a cold front comes through on Saturday night, a period of rain and gusty wind Saturday night before that clear out for Sunday and it turns cooler, but not unusually so for December. And then next week is looking warm, warm and mainly dry. And we'll be keeping you updated on that as the temperatures start to climb through the 50s for Monday and Tuesday. Even